Hey everybody, Josh here with Mentor Public Library and yet another installment of Art Apocalypse, our weekly arts and crafts video series. Here to show you guys something cool, so let's get started. Okay, so for today's craft, I'm going to show you guys how to make painted rocks. All you're going to need for this is a bowl of water, a bunch of nail polish, or one thing of nail polish if you're just looking for monochrome. Um, but I like a lot of colors. It comes out looking kind of tie-dye looking, so I think that's pretty cool. So the more colors, the better kind of here. Uh, and then you'll just need a rock. You can just walk around your neighborhood, pick one up off the ground, or if you're at the beach, wherever you find them, you can turn them into some art. So all you're going to do, take your nail polish, take the brush part out, and then just carefully pour a few drops into your bowl. Uh, that one's... Huh just sank to the bottom. That's not supposed to happen. So we'll try a different color. This is trial by error here, so sometimes that happens with certain nail polish brands. I don't know why, but you can see at the bottom of the bowl there's other colors that did it too. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen with all of them. There we go. Okay. So it should just hang out on top of the water like that. You can see the different layers there. And just keep adding colors. And you can add as many or as few drops as you want. And just keep going. Oh, there it goes. I was waiting for that to happen. See how it just like split open, like the colors are starting to spread out across the surface of the water? Um, that's what's going to capture the whole stone in there instead of it just pooling together. Oh, this one's a bit runny. Alright. I'll try this blue. Little blue guy. got a whole bunch of colors in there. I tried one earlier. Can you see my thumb? You're going to want to wear gloves. Um, this is a professional hazard, me getting paint and nail polish and stuff on my hands. Uh, but you guys will probably want to wear gloves, so it's easy cleanup. So then once you have all your colors in here, um, all you're going to do is just take your stone. Let's see if I can minimize my fingers touching it. And then just dunk it in and kind of drag it around. And it'll start picking up all those colors. And voila! You got a cool painted stone. And you can do a couple layers on this too. So once this dries, you just do the same process again and it'll add on here and you'll end up with some pretty cool art for your house. 